Good afternoon. Oh, well, one of these days I will greet with it's a bright and sunny day. But once again, I'm looking outside and I just can't greet you like that today. However, there's no rain, so that's a positive. But I want sunshine. All right, May 21st. What more could you need? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? Romans 8, 32. I, the creator of the whole universe, am with you and for you. What more could you need? So there's no need to worry about anything ever. And yet you do worry. The funny thing about worry is that it takes up a lot of time but it doesn't really accomplish anything. Worrying about a sin won't make it go away. Asking my forgiveness will. Worrying about a problem at home or at school won't do any good, but praying about it will. Worrying about what to say to a hurting friend won't help, but praying will. Worry happens when you try to snatch back control of your life from me. You forget that I am in charge. The only cure is to stop thinking about your problem and start thinking about me. Let me have control. After all, I gave up my life for you. How could I not give you everything else that you need? That's wonderful to think about. I know that I've talked a few different times on here about how I might worry or stress about things in the future. And I always need to remember that when I feel that worrying coming upon me, I need to stop and pray about it. So that's a wonderful thought to think about is that he can take your worrying away. Continuing on for what more could you need? Romans 8, 31, Micah 7, 7. I hope everyone's 5 plus 5 or 10 plus 10 is going well these days. I hope it continues and that these devotions each day might bring a little bit of joy and excitement. So I'll see you tomorrow. Have a blessed day.